Hey guys, it's Rena Wells and I'm here for your energy check-in reading for Twin Flames. I know we're going through a lot right now. We have a new moon solar eclipse. We have um, the equinox coming, the winter solstice coming up, sorry, not the equinox. We have uh, a lot of things that are happening astrologically. We have Saturn and Jupiter coming together. So this is going to be an energy check-in for all of those things. And if I get pulled, because I was going to do all the different cosmic transits with Spirit says, no, let's just do a basic, um, so I'm just going to fix the camera here a little bit. Let's just um, do a basic energy update so that everybody can, um, yeah, so that everyone can have a proper understanding for their own situations of what is happening. So take this, that this, I cleared the space, I smudged, I, I've done everything. And Spirit is saying, let's just take this for the for this week, okay? So what I've done here is I have uh, set aside the, we're going to take a look at karmic energies. First, we're going to do a comparison to see where the masculine is and with karmic energies, okay? Because 99% of my viewers are divine feminines or feminine viewers. And then we're going to do... Uh, also the interconnection spread with divine masculine and divine feminine energies. So we're going to take a look and see what is going on with that. And then we're going to see what is happening between the twins as well. Okay. As these transits happen, got a new deck of cards, which I'm excited. They finally came in. They are the Island time wellness. So I know you've probably seen these on other channels. So I'm super excited because it's island time, you know, got to bring in my Caribbean self. All right. <laughs> so we're going to get started here. We're going to take a look. I've already separated <coughs> these cards. Oops, this deck goes over here. <laughs> I didn't switch the deck. So let's take a look at the karmic energies. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to bring down the channel. For Twin Flame Spirit, thank you for the collective. Thank you for those that are moving into mission, healing the planet. Thank you. Can you tell us where these energies are. This is for the karmic energy, please, Spirit. Divine masculine and karma. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on? Oh, my hair. <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, what is going on with the karmic energies with divine masculine. Thank you. All right, I'm going to take a look at the bottom of the deck first and just to get an overall energy. Okay, so we have here the hanged man in reverse. So coming, waking up right now, okay, ending cycles, divine masculine standing in a very powerful, uh, trying to ground his energy um, in a very imbalanced place, very impatient. Looks like he's gained some enlightenment about this karmic situation. He's putting an end to certain cycles, okay? So that is wonderful. So let's see what's going on with the twins here. The ones that God brought together. Sacred Hirogamo, sacred marriage. Because that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. All these karmics can, they can think all they want. They can, they can hang on all they want. I've been feeling very strongly. Um, and as you guys know, my channel has been like attacked and stuff like that. And my social media, I know who it is. <laughs> it's just the karmic stuff. But it's like, it's like, this is what actually pushes masculines away, right? This instability here with karma you know, they have to go through a deep healing process in order to know where to end these cycles. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, let's see where the twins are. Um, I feel like because of all these eclipses and things that are happening, people are really getting serious about their callings. And uh, the energies are just, whew, some people are having a really hard go at it. Others are feeling good. And then there's like, there's so many array of, of energies. Here, the twins want to stop fighting with each other, right? They've ended all types of uh, celebratory types of things. This is getting serious. Uh, awakening here. Um, ending relationships for happiness. Uh, awakening unrequited love. Bringing the tower down. 
okay, is what I'm seeing here in regards to things that don't feel good, unrequited love, uh, celebrations, ending over, you know, partying or uh, exterior types of, you know, gratification is what I'm getting, um, ending friendships so people that, you know, they're, they're stuck fighting with, with this, uh, both energies, masculine and feminine energies, ending relationships, making those decisions to bring in further happiness. And this is so funny here, like with the karmic energy, we have, you know, um, ending dreams, cleaning up the betrayal, actioning very passionately and quickly over manipulation. This is a manipulation type of energy that's happening with karmic energies. It's been very dramatic and moving towards a reunion. We have three of cups over here, but it's reverse here, right? So, wow. So let's ask for four cards here for the karmic energy spirit. Can we have four cards here, please, for the interconnection spread for Divine Masculine with the Karmic Energies? Thank you. Four cards. One, two, three, four. Here we go. All right. And then we're going to take a look at what this is like. So yeah, so I'm really seeing that masculines are, and, and I've been getting this message too, they've been really standing up for themselves. You know, these masculines have really big soft hearts, but they are easily manipulated. And men are very easily manipulated, I'll say that, because the, especially the divine masculines, okay? Not, I'm not saying unconscious men, I'm talking about divine masculines. They have a big heart and unconscious feminines, women that are in a distorted feminine, you know how women are like. They like to be competitive, let me tell you. I used to date women more than I've dated men, okay? <laughs> it's uh, quite catty. Competition, you know, but that's not what divine feminine energies are about. Coming together and supporting each other and helping each other. But knowing your place, right? There are divine feminines who think they're a divine feminine. They don't know their place either. That's a whole other, <laughs> that's a whole other thing too. It's like, no, no, no. You're not, you, you haven't done most of your healing. You're just starting to know your place, you know? Um... Because this kind of, to get into Divine Feminine energy mode, I hate to say it, you got to do quite a bit of work, okay? You got to do quite a bit of work to get to this point. Not going to happen overnight. All right, so let's see here. Wow, separation between the karmic. Look at this. Look at that. That is, I'm just going to make sure that you can see that on camera. Yeah, totally. So take a look at this right now here. See how this is completely um in a separation there's abandonment issues entrapment feeling trapped okay uh this abandonment issue is what is linking the karmic energy with the masculine energy they both have abandonment issues okay this trap feeling is bringing up where they're shared this complacency in their connection okay not seeing that there's another offer that's happening here but here fate is stepping in fate is actually separating the two so we're going to clarify that as well let's see what is going on with the twins in comparison and then we will clarify all right so can i get four cards here for the twins please and i think four just fell out three i don't know if i, I don't feel like i want to take this i wasn't ready so let's just try that again spirit can we have four cards here for the twins thank you four cards for the twins for the collective please oh my god beautiful cards coming out that's too many i need one more <laughs> i'll see how these play out beautiful one more please spirit thank you wow look at the major arcana that have come out for the twins look at this beautiful 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 all right what is going on with the twin flames, please, Spirit? So, yeah, so what I'm seeing here is, like, there's a lot of abandonment issues that are going through. We're going to see how the masculine is dealing with those abandonment issues, okay? And we're going to, because this is what's linking them. It's the pain. It's the wounding. That's what karmic energies bring up. They bring up all your childlike wounding. It's usually somebody, uh, karmic energies are usually somebody that are very similar to people that you've always been with. Um, they resonate with your family. They resonate, you know, your twin flame is somebody completely different, right? Um, it's meant to be that way uh, so that you don't get trapped into the family dynamics and the lineage that you actually came to heal, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. 
All right. So masculine and feminine are definitely connected here. Okay. The masculine is very much feeling the feminine energy here, holding a lot of strength and is in between the destiny. Look at this. Fate has separated the karmic energies. And here we have uh, the masculine sitting between gaining courage and um, the destiny of healing and moving towards wishes fulfillment. The feminine is the center of this read. So she is being very clear. However, she is mentally, I feel this is telepathic communication and holding a very strong stance here between the strength and the destiny. And it's actually through her that this, that she's holding this strong, truthful stance that the masculine is feeling it. Feminine here is connecting reconciliation, second chances coming together and is holding a very strong stance. So what I'm feeling here is because of abandonment issues, it's probably why a lot of my channel has been attacked because <laughs> I'm very much doing this, you guys. Um, just making sure this is still going. I don't know why I'm having issues with, <laughs> but you know me and technology. But yeah, so this is very much, you know, um, yeah, we're going to check. Spirits like to ask me to check karmic situations towards the feminine so that's what we're gonna do as well we're gonna take a look at that but first we're gonna see here because this feminine is really holding a strong stance okay and really owning that power it's actually creating abandonment issues and separation in the karmic energies okay masculine is very um yeah very much on the outskirts okay Looks like this masculine is coming closer to this masculine, just based on the cards, right? But on the outskirts of everything and observing everything that's happening. This masculine is just watching. Look at this. We have King of Cups on the bottom here, okay? And look at this. Did I not just say I felt karmic energy? Right? Look at this. Here's the masculine. Here's the karmic. Masculine is being in his heart space right now karmic energy is watching what the divine feminine is doing i can't make that up i know it's like watch all you want bitch watch all you want it's just you can't beat god i'm sorry like let's just clarify like you can't you just can't like you can spend the next 10 years hanging on to this it's just you know you're just not gonna beat god like Sorry, but let's see. Let's take a look here at the abandonment issues that's happening with the feminine energy, with the karmic energy, please, Spirit. What is this five of pentacles with the karmic energy? Don't want to talk, eh? They don't want to talk. You see, this, this karmic energy is observing everything as well, just as I was feeling, observing what the feminine is doing over here. Okay, so what is the queen of wands here, please, Spirit? The karmic energy abandonment look at this delaying the happiness fear of change because of god's love coming in see a karmic energy can only bring in the nine of cups right but there's always more there's always that extra cup it's god's love a lot of these karmics some of them are spiritual but they are refusing to know the sanctity of god the holiness the sacredness of spirit they still play in a lot of this abandonment dark shit. Look, at, I mean, there's like the eight of swords here, you know? So this, this karmic energy here is very much holding, trying to hold things up, okay? But God's love is coming in. We have fate coming in. So how is that affecting the karmic energy right now? We have fate coming in. Can't mess with God. Look at this to end your heartbreak. Get over it. Get it. Get over it, okay? Um, let's see what's happening here with the abandonment issues with the masculine energy towards the karma healing separation see in separation guys in separation getting off that path okay can't make that up this masculine is getting off the path healing the abandonment issues while they're in, he's in separation and getting off this spiritual path what is going on with the masculine energy towards the wheel of fortune with fate getting honest with god right getting honest with the spirit saying okay i gotta get honest getting honest about what spirit what is this masculine energy getting honest about way too many jumping guys jumping what is the seven of swords here for is the masculine energy getting honest about illumination look at this his happiness all right his happiness and so this karmic energy is very much trying to um bring in this piece of apathy too um but spirit wants me to focus on this entrapment what is this entrapment and abandonment issues that the karmic is uh 
connected to with this abandonment and, and entrapment. I feel it's like wanting to entrap the situation. So let's see the karmic towards this energy with the entrapment and the abandonment issues. <sighs> yeah, look at this. Communicating about trying to re-trigger these issues in the masculine energy. Oh, baby, you know it's so good with us. Oh, all that bullshit. Don't leave me. I can't do it without you. You know, this is keeping the masculine actually very... You know, divine masculines don't like that. They like a woman that actually has emotional balance. You know what I mean? That can actually uh, move through the different realms without having a freaking, you know, freak attack. Because um, that's distorted feminine energy, right? Being blocked. And, and, and this energy is trying to communicate very clearly. She's trying to reach out this hand and say, come to me, come hither. But how is the masculine responding here to the karmic energy because this masculine is also feeling fate but is also feeling complacent so let's see how the masculine is feeling complacent towards the karmic first right union letting his guard down about union but this is also coming to the end of a finish line as well these two are coming to a portal letting his guard down in regards to union I feel this masculine is starting to see because it, this card would be in the reverse position is seeing this hand of God coming in. Okay, let's clarify. What is this guard being? Boop. Yeah, he's not actioning this. He's he's actually some people say this is juggling, but I'm also seeing it as like negotiating. He was negotiating. But he's not actioning that anymore. He's actually being a bit of a stubborn ass and slowly moving away from this situation. So let's take a look here at the entrapment piece, the center energy that is actually separating the masculine and the karmic energies. What is this? Abandonment and entrapment. It's that abandonment issue, money issues, being sneaky. Yeah, look at this. The devil in reverse, ending regrets and working really hard at ending this focus, focus, focused. So this is, and how is the karmic feeling about this? Things have been revealed, okay? What is what has been revealed to the karmic energy? The imbalance. That's, it's imbalanced, you think? <laughs> like, you think? All right. So that's really, really awesome here. So let's take a look at what is healing here. Uh, what is going on actually with the karmic? We're going to use the Island Time Tarot. Just making sure my thing is still recording. <laughs> Because I feel like this is going to be an hour long. And I'm like, did I clear space on there? I think I did. So let's take a look. What is the karmic energy feeling towards the divine masculine right now? Let's see. What is the karmic energy? This is for the karmic spread here, spirit. So masculine towards karmic. Karmic towards masculine. Thank you. Let's take a look. And then we're going to check in with these, the twins over here. Bottom of the deck. Trying to love unconditionally here, this karmic, Okay. But it's past energy. This is why I kept feeling this four of cups here, past energy, looking at photos, you know, trying to meet, um, opening the heart, trying to get together. But look, girl with the snake, okay? And the relationship is over. Okay, so it's over, but this karmic energy is still trying to bring up the past here. Still trying to say, oh, but you're the one. Open your heart. We're perfect for each other. And trying to do this. It's a fake unconditional love because karmic energy is have so much healing to still go through to love themselves unconditionally they have no way no idea how to give that it's a it's what i call spiritual bypassing people and you people can only love you to the depth of that they love themselves right and this is what this karmic does not understand do your healing grieve and heal so we have sabotage rebuilding look at this this is a karmic energy towards masculine sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it please let's work on it let's work on it let's, i can't make that up guys that just came out how's masculine responding to the karmic energy right now in regards to that spirit ah see they know look at that came out again girl with the snake empath narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enabling his boundaries so this masculine is very aware of what is going on and how is that affecting the karmic energy right now this is fascinating you guys i love being able to get these messages thank you spirit for my gifts <laughs> it's so great i can't even look at this the grim reaper i can't make this up guys this just came out from the bottom and i'm shuffling right it's done 
this karmic knows there is no second chance okay grow and transform your life that's all i gotta say do the work you think like these divine feminines have been on this path for a while okay like um hi 30 years of healing thanks like what have you been doing two years like no thanks and so what is this masculine with the girl with the snake look at this the sword and the rose clarity truth revelation okay solidarity being alone right now force so i believe these masculines have left okay look at this and the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship and being love bombed right now so can't make that shit up you guys cannot make that up love it love it love it love it all right let's take a look at the real twin flames now that god has brought together that spirit has sanctioned holy and harmonious and healing energy not codependent crying oh god what are gonna... you know what guys i grew up with so much drama so i can talk to it okay i've been through so much shit i don't even care like <laughs> about being nice anymore i'm just like i'm nice don't get me wrong i'm nice but don't don't get in my path like know your place right know your place that's all i gotta say all right let's see what is going on here we've already got masculine energy look at this we've already got masculine energy wanting to work god's coming in wanting to focus and work on this connection can't make that up it's already come out i'm gonna take a sip of water and we're gonna get to it all right so we have masculine energy definitely feeling the empress holding this um, telepath she's telepathically communicating all of this okay so a lot of you may be in no contact right now this is clear communication uh, curiosity of the spirit wanting to um, yeah do this type of communication and so what is going on with masculine energy towards the Empress right now what is the masculine wants to negotiate all right want juggling back and forth negotiating how do I speak to this feminine okay look at this negotiating of ending look wanting to invest negotiating ending toxic karmic cycles so this is exactly where the masculine is at right now and wanting to invest <clears throat> what is he wanting to invest spirit with the divine feminine Whoop. yeah waking up coming out of a hermit mode all right coming out and wreck and with the enlightenment recognizing i'm ready to come out of my cave and let my guard down all right okay whoo so let's take a look at the, the energy the Divine Feminine is holding a very strong energy, being very clear in her telepathic communication, in her energy, in her surroundings. She's holding down the strength to have courage. She's encouraging the masculine to be strong too. I actually had a dream last night with my twin that I was encouraging, <laughs> it's just coming through now, that I was encouraging him to, to be strong. And I felt that um rising up in him so there's this definitely playing in the collective and i'm saying guys these readings are just as much for me as it is for you because I'm, I'm part of the collective i'm one of the leaders of the collective so this is definitely um going to affect everybody who's on this journey in the collective for sure so let's take a look at this energy the divine feminine is holding down and all of you are holding hey spirit wants to bring that through all of you are holding uh, a point it's like a circle how i see the collective is like a a circle you know and so because of that circle uh, everybody has a point that they're holding down in the collective and so th that's going to resonate for other twins depending on where your union is holding that down so i just want to explain that okay so what is going on with divine feminine here with this page of swords she also wants communication you know she's saying that but the masculine will do that when it's time Yeah, about the past and how this um, union, this friendship ended. Knowing that there is a, um, yeah, Spirit is saying this is the childlike innocence and this is why things had to end. I'm going to clarify that a little bit more. What is the Six of Cups? Let's look at this. Yeah, um, she's protecting this truth with Spirit for this commitment for this holy marriage <clears throat> and spirit is also coming through that this is being protected okay that this truth can't fully come out yet okay but she's holding this this sacredness down in the middle okay 
the clarity and the new path of clarity and truth hasn't come forward yet there's still a lot of ending of past situations that's over indulgence things that are you know um the zazazing egotistical type of lifestyle and holding down more of the lessons of what this union is bringing forward okay so that's beautiful so let's clarify here how does the divine masculine i'm going to just move these to the side we have a little bit of room how is the divine masculine feeling in regards to the star with the empress because there's definitely um the destiny masculine is feeling the destiny wanting to work on it okay not offering anything right now but charging forward so this masculine knows there it's a wish when this cup is ready i'm really because they're still working out some fine details here when this uh ending is completely done the masculine will come forward okay right now they want to charge forward they want to build they want to work on this they're learning to gain strength here. The masculines are learning to gain strength. Yeah, see, they're regretting a lot of how, what they've done to the Divine Feminine. I don't think the Divine Feminines are really, um, yeah. They're moving through this very slowly, okay? Yeah, they know, they know. They're holding, they're, they're, they're gaining the strength and slowly and surely gaining the strength to return Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So we have here Divine Feminine holding down um she's also holding on this judgment and reconciliation a renewal this is standing in the in humbleness and in in, to the face of god you know for a soul renewal with her twin returning to the past that it's not over okay um there is a delay in this return and this divine feminine understands that clarify this the divine feminine understands this delay yeah and so she's focused and she's working hard on on her own things to create renewal in her own life what is this renewal in her own life thank you that she's working on yeah ending conflicts and relationships that don't serve her so both masculine and feminines are doing their own set of work here okay he's ending things she's ending things okay um she's learning the lessons here the truth of the, from the past of why things had to end the masculine is learning how to take the lead and work through his own regret and have strength to slowly move towards a return and ending certain situations in his life not quite ready right we have the knight of cups so clarify the knight of cups in reverse yeah single this masculine is single okay not ready to jump into anything and you gotta understand that guys you know you don't want to be a rebound i most definitely would not you know and this is why this is going to start off very slowly this knight of pentacles it's going to start off slow and that's how it should be stable slow not zaza zing that's how karmic energy starts right yeah knowing going slow because divine feminine does not want it to be unstable here and neither does the masculine okay the cup is closed here so it's not going to be this over emotional type of thing it's going to be logical it's going to be yeah things have failed before maybe because it was rushed in the past but it was too unstable so this is about balancing the emotions holding strength and solely moving towards that okay Whew. let's take a look here this is for masculines towards the divine feminine. Yeah. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? One more thing before we do this. I want to clarify the divine feminine towards the masculine because we have that here. What is overall? We'll just move some of this out of the way. What is the divine feminine here towards the masculine here, spirit? Can you give us that? Thank you. Because she's really holding. Yeah, look at this. She's holding down that happiness, you guys she's not confused she knows very clearly what she desires okay she knows that he's not ready his heart is blocked and we and we know that right we know that all right so let's take a look here what is going on with divine masculine towards the feminine and feminine towards the masculine what is going on in this connection with the twin flame spirit thank you this is the collective energy check-in what is going on so many things happening you guys i can't even tell you the energies have been off the hook like i've been gone going from very high to having to like take my boat to the gates of hell <laughs> like, it's just a whole bunch of crazy stuff i can't even with the energies let me tell you but whew. all right spirit says this is ready let's take a look we're gonna look at the bottom as well for the overall energies between the two chaser okay i feel this is you know <laughs> 
I feel this is Divine Masculine is going to come in, you know, um, because he's still working on abandonment issues, right? We saw that with the karmic. So roles have been reversed, Divine Feminines. You know, take it as you as you see fit, guys. Okay, but the overall energy is there is some chasing that's going to happen because there is a I like you, someone likes you, romance is blur is blooming. Okay, wanting to date, wanting to come towards divine feminine clarity and truth revelation. We had that. This masculine has seen that that came up with the karmic energies, knowing that divine feminine is the paradise. Still not feeling good enough. Okay, because they're still look at this. Did I not just say I took the boat to the gates of hell? You guys, I can't tell you the visions that I've been having. Okay, with my masculine. <laughs> and here's the damn boat. But anyways, this paradise is, you know, he this masculine does not feel good enough yet because the trauma that this karmic has done, the emotional trauma of the drama trauma crap that this masculine has done in the in the masculine's life. Okay? And this person still, like in the karma still is after it. Like, please, please 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 all right let's take a look i can't even i can't even gotta cut that drama right out from the beginning you guys i don't even when i see drama right from somebody right from the start i don't even give a second chance don't doubt it you guys you guys are tapped in enlightened beings do not doubt your intuition all right unless you yeah no don't i'm not gonna say that <laughs> don't worry about that all right let's see what is going on with masculine energy towards the feminine right now what is the masculine towards the divine feminine? Oh, playing in the past, you got look at this, the chaser. Did I not just say? <laughs> yeah. Wanted to come after the feminine. Oh, been hit by Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. All right. Reminiscing about the past. Okay. Knowing that they had outdated thinking in the past. Okay. Wanting to come forward. Okay. Fear that they're going to be abandoned. So now listen, guys. If your masculine comes towards you and they've just ended something. You have to set healthy boundaries, right? You have to keep your love pure to God, right? Um, be friends. Start slow, you know? Play out the past. Help your masculine to heal. But don't just jump right in, you know? This masculine may want to jump right in. But it depends. Everyone's situation is different. How much has actually been healed, right? Is this going to be abandonment issues, right? You know your situation best. So here, be lighthearted. Finding out things are coming to light. This masculine has really transforming his life here, okay? Let's see what's going on with feminine energy towards the masculine. These cards are like kick ass. Listen, I like them card, good, you know. These cards are nice, proper nice. Knock a little Caribbean talk on y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, my kids and I love doing that. We speak uh, Guyanese all the time. All right, so let's see. What is the feminine towards the masculine here? Feminine towards the masculine. Oh my gosh, look at that. You guys, some of you might be running away. Listen, we cannot play. Okay, we cannot play divine feminines in this dynamic. Runner, chaser, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. So this is, Spirit is bringing this up because look at this, separation. Do not pull this. When the masculine comes, do not run, okay? Set some healthy boundaries because this is here. Clarity, truth, revelation, okay? Did I not just see this a minute ago? We saw this with the karmic. Yeah. Did I just pick that up? I don't even know, guys. Okay, but look, stab in the back. Do not let your pain from the past and the separation cause, um, okay, um, for you to run. Okay, this is a time when the masculine returns. Do not play in this runner chaser mode. I'm going to pull a card for that. Okay, do not play in this because this is where the vulnerability is not happening. This is what causes separation. Okay, it's the codependency piece causes separation. All right. One of y'all, either the masculine or the feminine, is more awakened. Okay, not more awakened, but more has healed more of the that codependency from our system, from the matrix. So don't let this backstabbing, what they've done in the past, cause this dynamic to happen again. You don't want to go back into the separation piece. Okay, hold the path. There's massive, intensive passion that's happening here. You like each other equally and you want to have some fun. You want to have some fun. But Spirit is saying about this runner chaser. I'm going to pull another card on that, actually. Spirit is saying, look, this is paradise. Take the risk and the chance, okay? Not showing your hand and gambling. But know that this is your happiness. So why are we being shady here? Why are we being shady here? Let's see. Spirit, give us some advice here. 
Okay, it's still recording. <laughs> Give us some advice here regards, regarding this. You know, being in pain. And I think the masculines are worried about that. Like, are, are, is this, is my feminine going to hold me accountable um, for what I've done? And no, this is divine feminine. This is how you handle it. Yeah, it was painful. Yeah, it wasn't honest. And um, it wasn't nice. And you were back set, but you've healed it. Or your twin would not be coming back to you, right? You've healed it. So you use that as a jumping point and say, look, this is where what happens in our connection. When we're not vulnerable, when we're not opening to each other, when we're shady asses to each other, this is what happens. It creates this separation. I don't want that because you are my paradise. You are my passion. I'm not going to let backstabbing in the past cause this again. We have to be completely open, honest, vulnerable, kind and allow freedom because you can't do the work for your twin either so no matter where the other person is at you have to allow them the space to heal to rise in their own vessel to become in their own freedom with god you can't force that right so let's see what spirit has to say here in regards to the runner and chaser to heal okay have faith here, okay, that when this happens, there's going to be recovery. Look at this crown chakra that's going to need to happen. There's going to be a lot of wisdom. Heart, keep the heart open. There's a key here, okay? It's going to open things up. You're going to be able to open that door to healing and have faith with where you're being led in this connection. Don't force, don't push, don't learn. You've learned the lessons, right? So, yeah. All right, I want to take a look at karmic energy towards the divine feminine because I'm feeling so, a lot. And I mean, guys, not just in my own life, it's also happening with other people that I've been working with, um, feeling dark attacks. They don't, these people don't know why they're having dark attacks. A lot of these karmics think that they know what they're doing in energy. They ain't got no idea what they're doing in energy. Listen, half the people on this planet don't know what the hell they're doing on, in energy. Honestly, I can't even with that. Okay, like I just can't. Um, God teaches you everything you need to know and will guide you to the courses that if you need to take a course, you know, but other than that, it's life experience, you guys, life experience and past lives and how you integrate that. But I really feel, I'm going to use another deck here, that there is some energy with these karmics towards the divine feminine. Yeah, let's do that. God says, let's pull this. What is the karmic energy feeling towards divine feminine right now? And then we're gonna take we're gonna do this a little quickly and then we're gonna take a look at what is going on between the twins and some healing messages for this week. But I feel like saying, you guys, this karmic is being shady and watching everything that you do. A lot of divine feminists that I work with already have their own social media. They're already working in the twin flame community. So listen, you you gotta just watch your shit. Call it out. Call it out. Okay? As soon as I called the attacks on my stuff out on my social media it stopped well gee, i wonder why it's like don't play those games don't play those games immature it's childish but you know what divine masculine sees all and god sees all right spirit sees it all so don't worry about that you stand in your power divine feminines but this is what's happening with karmic energy towards the divine feminine sacrifice hmm. some of them may feel that they're sacrificing themselves yeah, they're fragmented, okay? Seven, nine. Those are the ones that popped out. Let's see. Karmic energy towards the divine feminine. Karmic energy. Okay, that's the only one popped up. Parasite. Narcissism. Can't make that up. So this, this is what I'm seeing. This little fragment of light, this is all the light that this karmic energy can pull into their system. Everything else is dark, okay? They are starting to get into an illumination phase, okay? They're starting, they're not fully unconscious, but this darkness, they're mostly operating from. They have this potential, Spirit says. Seven is a very sacred, holy number, okay? Talks a lot about shifts and changes and Spirit coming in to, you know, vamp things up a bit. But we have, they have a soul that can be fully illuminated in this lifetime. If they allow this light of God to perpetuate through their shield and this armor to wake them up. But they're not. Some of them are not. Some of them are. Some of them are not. Okay. We have here, they're completely fragmented. Listen to my thing on narcissism. 
on the channel teachings okay guys go if you're new to my channel just go back and listen to that um, it talks about narcissism and how they need to suck see because they're not fully illuminated see how this if you take spirit showing me this if you take this moon illumination and this piece it becomes a full moon right they're missing a lot of fragments of themselves they have this potential but this is all that they're able to see is this little one beam of light right that's it and that might be that they have to let the masculines go but that's all that they can see because they're completely fragmented so spirit wants you to see like when you put these together you have a whole moon it's not they're not whole because look at this they're completely parasitic we have a nine here so there, some of them may be very close to healing themselves, which is amazing. So we have a nine here and we have a 10 ending of a cycle. Okay. This is how they feel towards the divine feminine. This is where they're operating from right now. Okay. So it's not how they feel, but this is where they're at when they think about the divine feminine. They ain't in a very good place. You guys they are not very happy. They're suited up for armor. This one looks psychotic like hi i'm gonna kill you if i ever see you like this one i don't even know it's really and not i don't know guys Ugh, i don't like the energy i'm getting from this so let's take a look here what is going on with that's too many karmic energies towards the divine feminine what is going on with karmic energies towards the divine feminine and I'm telling you guys, this is happening with a lot of people in the collective, okay? Um, people that I've been working with are seeing the same pattern. So look, they're at a place of indecision, okay? They're trying to balance. They're trying to gain their discipline. They're trying to accept the situation for what it is, okay? So they are trying. Give them kudos for that. They're still indecisive. That's what they're indecisive about. I don't know why they got to be indecisive. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but you're a divine feminine, like really divine feminine. How often, like, you know, I mean, I can't remember last time I really clung to a relationship. I'm like, okay, you know, I, I don't fight. If somebody says, I don't want to be with you, it's like, okay, bye. Thanks. That was nice. Like, why am I going to fight? There's no reason to fight. If it's not aligned, it's not aligned. There's no reason to fight. You go with the flow with what spirit's giving you, right? And you trust that it's going to line up for you. That's what divine feminines do. So let's see here. What is this acceptance here towards the divine feminine for the karmic energy towards the divine feminine? What is this? <sighs> they're doubting. They're trying to accept this, but they're having a lot of doubt and they're not trusting this renewal. They are single. Okay, but justice is being served, guys. Okay, so justice is coming in, but they're still trying to doubt it. What is this doubt that they have? You know, they're, um, this doubt is still very entrapping and they're still hanging on and closed off. Okay, they're trying to discipline themselves, but they're parasitic. So all they know is this narcissistic behavior. They're not, the contract has ended. There's no new beginning for them. They're trying to... Yeah, their marriage has ended or the relationship has ended. They're trying to be disciplined. Okay, they're trying to stay what they know in their mind that they're supposed to do, but their heart is not there. This uh, choice has completely been made. And what about the, towards the divine feminine? What is their energy towards the divine feminine? They're sad of what they've lost. Okay, There's always competition for karmic situations. They can't see the alignment. They're still in a decisive place. See, they're not really trusting everything. There's the karmic right there, trying to be very clear, trying, and this is her observing everything, waiting to like pounce, you know what I mean? That's the energy, waiting to pounce on something. Um, yeah, look at this, trying to manipulate the sitting back, watching the divine feminine, because this is her wish. She's indecisive about what is happening. Look at this. And watching with the magician manipulation when that magician comes in reverse, trying to manipulate this divine feminine, sitting back and watching very carefully of everything that's happening here. OK, and being very aware of what her wishes. She, she's the nine of cups. Ain't God's love. Just ego crap. So let's see here. Just romantic stuff. Yeah. In conflict about her wishes. She wants that 10th cup. She's in conflict, does not know how to give that because it's not 
God's love. I can't say that. How many times do I have to say that? God makes twins the same soul. So whatever this karmic is doing to the masculine, like, I don't know why they're not aware. Like, it's, it's, you're doing it to the other twin. And I feel like some of them know this. What is this Ace of Cups? That they're creating conflict. They're trying to create conflict for this new beginning of love. Look at this. They're trying to create and manipulate. Look, they're trying to offer this to the Divine Masculine. See, King of Swords and King of, of um, Queen of Swords are a couple. They're soulmates, but they're not the best. It's all very mental energy, okay? There's not really like a deep love there. It's just mental thought patterns, okay? And that's why this card here is here. Oh my God, look. <laughs> the card was in there. This card is here, right? Because this is the conflict that it's causing, this new beginning for the karmic energy. And how is Divine Masculine feeling about this manipulation towards the feminine energy? Because here it is. There's the magician, right? How is this masculine feeling about this manipulation that the karmic is doing towards divine feminine? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. It's helping him rise up and end the damn relationship. <laughs> so I'm just going to say, keep doing it, right? He's not moving. He's ending. He can't move towards divine feminine yet. But look, he's upright. Emperor upright. He's ending a relationship. Clarify, why is he not moving the chariot in reverse? Yeah, he's coming to the end of a finish line about union and battling and fighting for this home life. He's, he's fighting for his union, for his new beginning. So he's still in this, and it still ended the lovers in reverse. Yeah, he's rejecting. He's rejecting the comeback. Okay. So they're trying to manipulate. Let's take a look here. Karmic energy, and then we'll see what's going on between the twins in a little bit more detail. And that will be the reading, you guys. What is going on here, spirit? With the karmic energy towards the divine feminine. What is going on here? Let me make sure this is still going. Yes. What is going on here with the karmic energies towards the divine feminine? Can you please give us an insight, spirit, to help the divine feminines that are watching this? Thank you. Let's uh, see what's going on with the karmic towards both the masculine and the feminine. Okay. <sighs> Wanting to meet up and talk. Passion. This is towards the masculine art. Let's see. What is what is going on with the karmic situation towards the divine feminine? What is going on with the karmic energy towards the divine feminine? That's the only card. All right. What is it, guys? <laughs> Lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So whatever happened was very quick for the karmic, okay? And the karmic towards the divine masculine. What is the karmic doing towards the divine masculine? breakup separation stalking gaslighting focusing out watching looking see watching observing everything you guys observing the situation wait ready getting ready to pounce clarity truth this has come up a lot the sword and the rose solidarity force honor protection and power she's she's trying to gain power this karmic is trying to gain power here See, yeah, because they want an engagement. <laughs> and how does masculine feel about that engagement, spirit? The car, the masculine. Well, he knows that it's wounds, introspection, self-image, mirroring, and he knows that it's an addiction. So, can't make that up, guys. Cards speak for themselves. There we go. Masculine ain't taking this back. I ain't taking it back. I ain't taking that back. So they can try. They can try all the sex, they can try all the drugs, they can try all the booze, they can try all the past. This masculine is really standing up. Okay, these, these divine masculines are really standing up in the collective. I can't wait for when these sets of twins start coming together. It's going to be powerful, you guys. Really, really powerful. All right, let's take a look at what's going on in the energies between divine masculine and divine feminine. 
let's take a look here. What is going on between the energies and the union spirit? So these are the energies that are happening between divine masculine and divine feminines. Okay, the center energy that's happening between the two of them right now. And that will be the reading, you guys. So let's take a look here. What are the overall energies that are going on between divine masculine, divine feminine, and the collective? Thank you, spirit. Okay. Well. Hey, trying to gain the courage. Look at this. Illuminated. Okay trying to gain courage, which is what we're talking about. Both of them are trying to gain courage and move into this new path. It's a very heightening path, right? It's a lot of mission work. It's a lot of um, obstacles that you may need to overcome with this devil being tempted by the devil, right? Here, that's why Spirit told me to pick this. Being tempted by the devil standing right in front. That's that karmic energy, you know, keeping, look at this, blocked, right? This, uh, not having the courage, knowing that the illumination is coming, is keeping the masculine blocked, Okay, fear of change that's happening, okay? So let's take a look. We're gonna clarify it further. So let's see, Spare, what is going on overall with the energies between divine masculine and divine feminine? Okay, they're telling me it's three and three. These are the energies that are happening between the two. Okay, just give me a second. <sighs> All right, so, yeah. What's happening here for both, okay? This is situation, action, and out desired outcome. So, Spirit is saying here, there's still a lot, putting an end to confusion about this connection. The two of them, know what they desire we're going to clarify they know what they both desire they're putting an end to uh the confusion is this my person should i be doing this um the doubts that were plaguing the two and i know that even in my own connection it's like oh, this is never going to happen blah 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 we're too different blah 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 blah. all these different things come up you know that can that confusion is coming to an end the separation helps the twins recognize how deeply they actually are connected on the inside. It's like you feel that you can't help but feel like how you feel God is how you feel your twin on the inside. You can't help that. That's just who you're made for, you know. And that's why this confusion is now coming to an end for both twins. So that is really beautiful. I love seeing that. Um, let's take a look at the bottom energy. Yeah, look at this ending conflict, okay. Ending overindulgence, divine feminine, look, is abandoned in the distance. But a lot of these things are, are going to start playing out um, because things are ending, okay? So let's clarify here the energy between the twins, the confusion ending spirit. Can we please see how that is ending for divine masculine right now? Okay. Yeah, he's going to, he wants to stop fighting. Okay, and he's sad about what he's lost. So we got that four of cups at the beginning, right, of the reading and wanting to stop fighting as well with the divine feminine, putting an end to his confusion. Okay, clarify that four of cups for divine masculine. Yeah, he's unstable right now, but we also know that because he's putting a lot of work into ending karmic situations. Divine feminine in this energy of putting an end to confusion. What about the divine feminine here, spirit? Putting an end to confusion. She feels the masculine's upset, okay? She feels him. Look, she knows. We've got King of Swords and King of Cups in, in reverse, knowing that he's not in the right head space, knowing he's not in the right heart space, knowing that he's afraid of change. This Divine Feminine knows this, knowing that that's going to, she's putting an end to this confusion because, thank you, Spirit is saying, feeling the masculine's emotions in his mind and all of that and knowing where he's at energetically from the inside knowing that this fear of change is coming to an end that it's just the masculine sorting this out and not holding any type of um issues putting an end to that confusion knowing that it's just the path now forward okay so that is the situation in the action this is about um planning for the future thinking about okay i can't wait anymore i have to start looking ahead um and i have to let certain situations go 
sure guys need some water. So masculine knowing that he needs to let go and plan for the future. So how is this looking for divine masculine towards the divine feminine? Okay, knowing that he can't wait on this, right? Knowing that he wants balance, masculine energy wants balance. Okay, looking at options and how to do this. Okay, getting off, this came out sideways, so it's like a new path, getting off one path and moving towards another, putting an end to certain things, right? So massive transformation for masculine, looking at options, clarify the options here for divine masculine. Yeah, ending pain here, okay? And that's a confusion piece too, which we also saw here putting an end to the seven of cups, seven of cups here. So this masculine was very overly confused, putting an end to that. This masculine completely knows who he's meant to be with. Okay. No, putting an end to any kind of confusion, ending the pain, getting off this path. Okay. And letting go. How is this divine feminine towards divine masculine in this spirit? Divine feminine towards the divine masculine in these energies of, of letting go. Yeah. She's, she's moving on beyond how any, uh, you know, ending either addictions in her own life, ending, um, you know, any type of energies and friendships that weren't working in her life, celebratory, you know, things like, you know, well, let's just go out and party. It's like, I can't do that anymore. Whatever it is, right? Putting an end to those things, planning for the future and really moving forward, divine feminine, walking away, letting go from things that don't serve her. Okay. And really looking at how she wants to move forward in her path we have the two of wands in reverse which is two of wands upright is contemplating you still have you know one wand in the past and one in the future and how are you going to move forward she knows how she wants to move forward and she's walking towards that okay um and she's leading the way for her masculine right she's walking and leading that way that's why this masculine is ending things now he's feeling the shift knowing that he can't wait anymore okay we have here injustice Fate has brought in the outcome of this karmic injustice between the twins, which is the karmic energy. It's complete injustice. It's not, you know, karmic uh, soulmate connections are not blessed by God, okay? Only twin flame connections are really blessed by God. Um, everything else, everybody has a twin flame, all right? I truly believe that. Some of them are not incarnated. Now, who you are meant to be with as a soulmate, yes, that will be blessed because that's in your contract in this lifetime. But twin flames are truly the holy sanctuary, sanctuary of sanctities, thank you, spirit, of divine masculine, divine feminine embodied, the earth energy embodied through the feminine and the creator force in through the masculine. You can't get that with anybody else. You can get tidbits of it with other people, but you can't with twin flames. So I'm not saying one's better than the other. It's just the point of where you are in your evolution process. But twin flames are the ones are the ones that are sanctioned by God itself. It's a holy matrimony, okay? There's a lot of heartbreak that's happened here between these twins. So there's injustice here. And how is the and fate? But fate is coming in, destiny, and saying, we're going to make these wrongs right. Okay, so how's the masculine feeling about this injustice? And fate has come in. I think these masculines are somewhat scared, but, you know, that's part of the courage of going in and being super vulnerable with their feminines, right? Yeah, we have not giving to fate here we have the wheel in reverse okay being single looking at the injustice of this that they haven't given to this situation knowing that the wheel hasn't turned they're single and independent right now so they're trying to gain their courage in that they're still having massive regret they're trying to be their independent selves here okay right there's still some toxicity that's that's that they're still dealing with and we saw that we know what that is what is this devil here that they're feeling trapped to they're still, they don't want to bring this toxicity to their divine feminine. But what some masculines need to realize too is sometimes the power of the twins coming together would actually alleviate things a lot faster than actually doing it separate, right? Yeah, wanting to return to the past of unfinished business and using their intuition, okay? So they know this. Um, and the overprotective masculine too, they may, and, and it depends on where the masculine is at in regards to returning they'll figure it out um spirit is saying this injustice that's coming in that they know they haven't given 
very much, but they're really gaining their footing in this new uh, being single, independent, and finding themselves again, because they've been with a narcissist, right? We saw that card that came out, that it's going to be um, some healing, some healing time that they need to spend on their, on their own as well, right? So let's see how Divine Feminine is doing towards the masculine in regards to this injustice and fate coming in, destiny coming in, okay? knowing that they're meant to be together yeah she's like just wants to end the conflict here right and the abandonment she holding patience and balance that she is by herself she's here by the door okay having some conflict abandonment issues of her own that she needs to heal so what is this abandonment here for divine feminine a lot of change two fives which means cycles ending five of pentacles what is this for divine feminine yeah she can feel that he's he's not coming forward because he is unstable and she understands that okay but it's still that he's there's still some darkness using her intuition that this is still happening before he can action anything okay all right beautiful let's get some love cards let's see what is going on with the a lot of shifts guys a lot of changes happening a lot of changes happening with these eclipses i just saw the deception card okay so still some manipulation happening in the energy so these masculines are coming out of a very tough karmic cycle they have to learn how to uh, I just saw separation there with the attraction card again. That's why there's still separation happening. So there's still very much um, finances and career, okay, during the separation. So there's still some issues that are needing to be worked on, okay? What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? Some love messages, please. Can you, for the collective, what is the Masculine would like to say to the Divine Feminine? What would the masculine like to say to the divine feminine? Yeah. They want to come in with a new, look at this, very soon, okay? They want a honeymoon. They want to go away with you. They want to get to know the divine feminine. They want to go away on a trip. They want to go away, enjoy time away. Very soon they're making a decision that this is a new love, okay? Now, new love. This is a, coming out of separation. This is going to be brand new. It's not going to be what you've had before. It's going to be completely different. What does the Divine Feminine want to say to Divine Masculine? What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine? Huh, you are my soulmate. Flirt. Keep it nice and light. She's like, let your friends help you. And it's safe. She knows that it's safe to love her masculine, okay? She's gaining trust and the courage to love him, okay? Let's get some of these Island Time Tarot. Or I mean, time oracle. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. And um, yeah, really beautiful messages, guys. She know feminine knows that it's safe. Okay, he he's gonna create that safe place for her to get to know her on a deeper level. They're gonna go away together. Their friends are gonna help them. Okay, they may be having a better support system around them. They may be learning more through each other who they can trust in their connection together, right? Because the energies have to be to keep maintain purity between the two of them. Uh, very soon there's gonna be a decision masculine's gonna make. Again, spirit said to the feminine, keep it lighthearted. Okay, no, too much heavy shit, not too much heavy stuff, guys, that will come. New love and soulmate, beautiful. What is the divine masculine, divine energy, and divine feminine energies towards each other, please, spirit? Whew. Thank you for a beautiful read, guys. I am doing a special, okay, if you do want a reading forecast for next year with your connection or anything else, I am opening up those readings for it uh, just until the end of January, okay? So if you want to get on that, I don't do readings usually. They're only for my members. So take a look at that, okay? The offer is down below. It's a, it's a one hour Zoom call reading, okay? So you get to see me face to face and we get to, I, I like reading that way better. All right. What is going on with divine masculine towards the divine feminine? What would he like to say? Can we get a card for each spirit, please? For the divine masculine towards the divine feminine, getting to know each other. Can we have a card, please? Okay. Thank you. Oh. What does that one say? <laughs> Wanting to talk about the snake in their life. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk about this. Com the the completion is a completion no the competition 
the enemy, the clever, the malicious acts, looking over shoulder, the other woman. This is the karmic energy. They're dealing with the snake, you guys, okay? Look at this, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrive, text, call, email, hoovering, okay? So they want to talk to you. They want to tell you about this karmic energy being a damn snake. And how is Divine Feminine responding to Divine Masculine? Is it safe? Is it safe for me to come forward? Can I come forward? Okay. Love. She'll love him no matter what. Self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Beautiful. What is Divine Masculine saying about, you know, enjoying holiday bliss time together towards Divine Feminine? You may be hearing from this person very soon. Okay, we've got three cards repeating the past about how they've separated and that this masculine wore a mask. He wants to prove it. He wants to come see the feminine. He wants to talk about the past, about his outdated thinking, why it, the sadness of missing the divine feminine, thinking of the thinking of the divine feminine and wearing a mask. Okay, knowing that there were, sorry, if you heard my kid freaking out, he's playing Fortnite and he's probably like breaking this like computer that I just bought him for his birthday. I can't even, sorry about that guys. So this is knowing that he wasn't showing his true feelings towards the divine feminine. And what is going to be the divine feminine's response to the divine masculine here? Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happy single, living the moment, having fun. She's like, I'm having fun. It's okay. It's totally fine. Hold on. I'm going to pause this. All right. I had to tell my child to basically shut up. <laughs> I got two teenagers. Okay. It's not like my kid's like five years old. It's like he's completely aware that he shouldn't be acting that way. Um, hey, getting sucked in by this matrix stuff. So yeah, Divine Feminine saying, look, my friends, I've been talking, I've been having, I've moved on from all of this, this mask, the separation, all of that. So I've moved on. I've healed it. It, I understand, like, see, divine feminines know that you can only be in a certain state of consciousness that you heal and you move on, right? So again, so divine feminines, this backstabbing and all of this and the masculines come back, it's to know that you have healthy boundaries for yourself of what you've learned so that doesn't happen again and that you take things slow, right? So very soon the masculine is going to come forward. He's deciding to come forward. Look at this. He's ascending his addictions. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Ascending his codependent. That's why the karmic energy is like psychotic. <laughs> really, the snake hanging on. Oh my God. Um, yeah, very soon. And the divine feminine towards the masculine. Flirting. Taking it easy, right? Knowing that he's going to need time to heal. And knowing that this is up to divine timing. Masculine's about this new love, knowing that there's a new love here. <sighs> See, not sure. Heartbreak about the being stabbed in the back. Separation, deceit. This masculine is very worried about this feminine and the backstabbing. I don't think, but feeling the passion here, right? Backstabbing uh, the feminine here. And how is the feminine's response to the masculine? It's okay. I still like you. <laughs> You're my soulmate. Okay. It's okay. I want to still date you. I want to like, it's really beautiful. Anything else for the divine feminine towards the masculine? She's like, make healthy choices out of this karmic situation because it's a narcissist. You're dealing with self-absorbed gaslighting, love bombing. Okay. Um, I'm reminiscing about the past here, but that's too many. So one more for the soulmate towards uh, divine feminine towards the masculine. One more, please. She's like, I know. I know what we have is paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, oneness together. So they're going to experience a lot of that together. So beautiful reading, you guys. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, let me know what you thought about this reading. Let me know if, how you've been dealing with the karmic energies. Um, I know it's been happening for me. So I'm glad that, um, you know, whatever I go through, we're all this. There's only one consciousness on the earth. So I know that other people are going through it. So I hope that helped you. Don't forget to like, share, 
comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out all the channel teachings there's a lot of info on there in my new teachings and if you want to work with me all that info is down below and uh, I'm running an ayahuasca retreat in Mexico you want to come work with me in another divine feminine like real divine feminines you guys okay not fake divine fem like real feminines that have done their work hit me up come see us in uh, Mexico so much love bye guys